Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing a kind of explanation video or a um, kind of knowledge video about how an AR-15 functions when it's fired and what makes it work. Alright, so I'm really excited to get into this video, so let's get right into it. So like I said before the intro rolled, today we are going to be going over how an AR-15 works. Okay, so I'm going to talk about basically what happens before you pull the trigger and after you pull the trigger and up until the next trigger pull. Okay, and I think this is very important for everyone to know and understand because the inner workings of an AR-15 aren't very complex. So when something happens in the field, everyone can fix the problem or diagnose what the problem is on the go without having to really put a lot of thought into it. So I'm going to switch camera angles around so you guys can see everything that I'm talking about and move with me as I'm talking about it. And uh, let's get right into it. Alright, so we are going to go over how this rifle shoots this bullet. Alright, and we're not going to be using this bullet because that's unsafe, so let's just get rid of it. But we're going to pretend like we have a bullet in there. Okay, so there's, there's no bullets in this magazine. So what we're going to do is this is how it works without a bullet. But let's pretend the bullet. So when you load your magazine into the gun, the magazine catches on the magazine catch, which keeps the magazine in the rifle. All right, that's pretty straightforward and pretty simple. Okay, so you can't do anything without a bullet in the chamber. Okay, so to load the bullet in the chamber, you have to pull the charge and handle back, bring the bolt back, and when the bolt is pulled back, it allows it to slide in behind a bullet. And when you release the bolt, a bullet is brought from the magazine into the chamber of the rifle. So here is the bullet, and here is the bolt. And as the bolt is slamming forward, it picks up on the edge of a bullet, catches it, grabs it, and slides it into the chamber. Okay, and that's the best example I can give of how it works without actually putting it through the AR-15, which, like I said before, it's not exactly safe to do it here in the middle of my apartment. Okay, so that's how the bullet gets into the chamber. So what happens next? Well, while you are pulling the charging handle back, the trigger is set. So, Here's another AR-15. So when your charging handle is pulling the bolt back, it's catching this trigger right here, and it's locking the trigger back on a trigger disconnect down here, which is keeping your trigger from slamming forward, okay? So up to this point, we have the trigger being locked back. We have the bolt coming forward and loading a gun, or loading a bullet into the chamber and we're basically ready to fire okay so when you turn your gun on fire it allows the trigger to have another disconnect down here at the sear and when you pull the trigger it releases the hammer and slams forward into the firing pin which is located on the inside of your bolt carrier group as seen here, which will slam the firing pin forward into the back of your bullet, all right, and which then will ignite the bullet and send it out the barrel, all right. So what happens next? So as your bullet is traveling through the barrel, hot gases are expanding in the back of your gun, which is creating a lot of pressure on the inside of your barrel. So as your bullet is traveling through your barrel, it reaches the gas block and what the gas block does it redirects the gases that are being produced from this expanding bullet and shoves them back through your rifle through the gas tube into your bolt carrier group and it shoves it into this gas system right here which then basically repeats the process of you charging the rifle so it blows the bolt carrier group back 
and then sends it forward once more. This then again resets your hammer and it loads another bullet into the chamber to be ready to be fired. Okay. So really it's a very simple process. There's not a ton of moving parts involved. The most moving parts I guess is the bolt and all the trigger stuff going on. But it's a very simple process and I think understanding how it works and what makes the rifle function is very crucial to being able to understand problems that occur in the field. So like if your gun is not cycling you can say, oh, well, maybe maybe it's a gas issue because the gun isn't having enough blowback from the pressure in the tube to, uh, to cycle the bolt. All right, and that's a very important thing to know and understand when working with your rifle, just the different things that could go wrong with it in the field and knowing how to combat them, all right? So that about does it, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I really hope it was informative and I hope you guys benefited from it. I know this isn't as pretty to look at as some of the animations online and some of the nice 3D graphics but it's a person telling you how it works and explaining it and hopefully you can get a better understanding of it that way. But I do recommend you guys go check out all the awesome graphics that people have made on how these rifles work and how they function because they're very informative and they work very well. But that about does it, guys. I appreciate everybody for watching. Please go subscribe down below for more firearms content. I really like putting it out, and it's going to keep coming out. I post three times a week at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, so go subscribe. And uh, we'll see y'all back on the channel next time. And as always, take someone outdoors.